Hello, and welcome back to another review. Okay, so, like I said, the last one was meant to be out on Thursday of that week. Little to behold, it's about two weeks later. Which means, yay, I kind of dropped ball on that one. But I did feel kind of shitty, so that's my excuse. I hope my hair's alright. I kind of feel fucking every so. Mostly due to my beanie. Anyway, uh, today's review will be a double. Uh, which I'll record in two parts because editing and more videos, yay. But anyway, the uh, first one I want to review is the one I saw today, which was Creed 2. Okay, so Creed 2 follows the story of. Uh, fuck, I can't remember his name now. Adeus? 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 Yeah, Adeus Creed. Who is the son of the Creed that died in Rocky IV, if I am correct. I think it was Rocky IV, not sure. Um, anyways, this is equal to the first one, which saw him basically become a professional fighter. And let's get this out of the way. The first one, I wasn't that impressed with. Still not, to be fair. I mean, it's got better after subsequent viewings, but I just feel like there was no heart in it. It just sort of felt too on the nose and it just sort of felt, I don't know, just cheap and there was no effort for it. It didn't feel like there was any worth to it. It just felt like, hey, here's a movie just to break in money. Oh look, here's fucking Sylvester Stallone. Bring us more. Yeah, it's just whatever. Um, <laughs> so I rewatched that last night and I kind of enjoyed it. I didn't mind it. Fight choreography was okay. It wasn't the best I'd seen. Um, so yeah, I recapped what the first one was. Um, the second film is all to do with uh, Creed fighting the son of the guy that killed his father, uh, which is the Russian... I think the guy's name is Victor Drago, the son, uh, who his father killed his father during, like, Rocky IV. Um, and, yeah, it was... <laughs> it was good. It was pretty fucking good. So, it, yeah, I don't really know what to say about it. It just ended up being good. Like, the music was on point. That was the one thing I gave credit for the first film. The first film's music was absolutely on point. As in the soundtrack, not the crappy rap shit that's going on. But the actual soundtrack was spot on for the first film. And it was again for this one. And the story, even though it was, it, even though it was cliched, like, you could kind of guess the ending just from what happened halfway through. Uh, just because it's the general fucking hero's journey kind of thing. So it wasn't really that difficult to know what's going to happen. The rise and fall, way, uh, yada, yada, yada. But that wasn't what made it good. What made it good was that they showed Victor in a light that I wasn't expecting. Because then obviously in the fourth one, the whole idea is... Uh, Hey, look, we killed Adeus now, or we killed Apollo Creed, that's the name. We killed Apollo Creed, so Rocky's gonna go off to Russia and fight big bad guy of Russia and kill, like, and defeat him, basically. Whereas this one, it kind of deals with the whole notion that. Yeah, it kind of deals with the notion that the sun has been brought up purely to fight and redeem his family's name. Because apparently what happened after the fight in Russia 30 years back, um, apparently Drago got shunned by his entire nation. And he basically, his wife left him for another man, and he effectively had to raise his son so brutally, basically. Like, just pure fighting, pure fighting. And it adds a lot of emotion in the final fight. Like, you know who's gonna win. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice went a bit crappy. You know who's gonna win. It's not that difficult to realize. But I got really emotional the, near the end because as you realized what was happening, there were elements of play where you understood how each person felt and you could feel the excitement for the guy who was going to win, you could feel the like, disgrace for the guy that was not. And it really hit home. Like, it really just worked. 
And it's not often you say that in fighting films. The last fighting film I watched that was actually good was Southpaw. And that was all to do with his daughter. Like, I didn't really give a shit about the fighting. Like, it was fun, but it just wasn't the core element of the story. Whereas this, it just works really well. And fighting, god damn! They have improved it since the first. Okay, so the first one was okay, it just felt a bit flamboyant and just very choreographed. Whereas this one just felt raw, powerful. And as soon as I like, got out of cinema, I just thought to myself, this is what this franchise was made for. It wasn't made for the first film, definitely won't be made for the third. It was made for this film. The showdown between Creed and Drago, son vs. son, Dead father versus a live father, I guess, kind of thing. It's weird. Um, but it just works. It works so goddamn well. And I would have to give it a four star. And I didn't even think it would get two. I didn't even think it would get two. I would have to go four stars out of five just for the pure emotion it can give you. And yeah, I I don't want what I don't want them to make a third. Because they've done the best they could with this one. I don't think it's going to reach any higher. Please, to God, don't make them laugh. Like, get a third one. Just, just keep it at two, because this one was the best you've got. The best you're going to get. And, yeah, just, just go see it. I honestly, if you're any fan of Rocky, even if you're not, it's just a very good story. And you can feel the emotion. It's, yeah... It's cliched the fuck out of it, like, you know the story, it's like I said so many times, you know the story, it's not hard to predict, but the emotion still triggers something in that core concept that makes you go, oh, I don't want to watch this end fight because I know how it's going to end and it's difficult watching it because you know what's going to happen. So, yeah, I... I would have to say four stars. Wouldn't go see it again in the cinema, but that's because I have no money. But I would happily buy this one on DVD when it comes out. Just, yeah. It was absolutely fantastic. Gotta give A star performances most of the way around. Uh, Sylvester Sloan never really enjoyed like, many of his works, but he was okay, I guess. Still a bit. The script, the script made him better. Let's put it like that. The script made him a lot better. Um, so yeah, it worked well. So yeah, that's my review on Creed 2. Absolutely fantastic film, very surprising. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you for the next one.